Just a few years ago, Melt Bar and Grill boasted locations across Northeast Ohio and as far away as Dayton. But since 2022, chef and owner Matt Fish has shuttered all but one location. So he recently sat down with 3 News contributor Doug Tratner to reflect on the restaurant's nearly 20 year history and the big changes that he is planning for the future. I would come home and just after work every day and break down ideas and then I always had this sidekicker menu of grilled cheese sandwiches that I thought would be really fun. In the early 2000s, Matt Fish wasn't a big time celebrity chef, but he was a chef with a big idea. I thought craft beer was going to be the driver. We opened up and everybody focused on the grilled cheese. Opening in Lakewood in 2006, Melt Bar and Grilled was a game changer for the Cleveland food scene, attracting diners from far and wide. It was a fun, unique concept at the time. People got excited. The neighborhood supported us. It was killer and it just never stopped. Before long, even the food network came calling. That is one of the best grilled cheese I've ever had. A guy Fieri, Adam Richmond. Adam Richmond. These folks came through pretty early. Those aired really put us on a national platform. That's what was that like to, to see yourself on national television? <laughs> see people coming in and saying, I drove here from It was know, crazy. Detroit to Nashville. It was crazy. We still see people to this day that are coming to Cleveland. The only thing we know about Cleveland is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Melt, so we're going to Melt. It still kind of boggles my mind. The concept quickly proved scalable, with the chain growing to more than 10 full service locations across Northeast Ohio and as far afield as Columbus and Dayton. Fish's payroll soared to 350 employees. For a while there, I would look forward to our almost annual call when you'd say, hey, Doug. <laughs> open, opening another restaurant? We were on a, a good clip to open one restaurant a year for about 10 years. In 2019, Fish was in talks to expand to Pittsburgh, Detroit, and Cincinnati until COVID stopped the industry in its tracks. Leading up to the end of 2022, when we said it's not going to come back, we need to make some significant changes. We're drowning. And he knew it was time to make a pivot. And sadly enough, like we used to talk every year for an opening, <laughs> uh, there was a time we were talking every, every year. year for our closing. We decided to close the final two stores. I had some soul searching. I talked to some advisors, talked to my team, and I said, I don't want to be a multi-store owner anymore. I just don't want to do yeah. it. I don't want to deal with all the variables and all the headaches. Both professionally and personally, the answer was clear. I didn't start Melt Barn Grill to grow. I don't like multi-chains. That's not really what I set out to make Melt Barn Grill do. And so Fish decided to go back to Melt's roots, keeping just one location, the original, here in Lakewood. And it was time to make some other changes as well. All of us are 18 years older. I don't eat the same way as I did 18 years ago. I want Melt and Bar and Grill to be small, specialized. We're gonna get back to the way things were in 06, and I'm gonna be here with my staff. Melt is closed this week for renovations and will reopen on September 9th with a brand new look, a brand new menu, and, says Fish, an exciting new future. I learned a lot of lessons, a lot of positive lessons, a lot of negative lessons, but I never knew how to get back here. It, was, it seemed virtually impossible. I had the opportunity to get a second chance, which you don't get a lot of chance, second chances in life. I'm taking full advantage of this second opportunity to do it all over again, and I'm going to do it right. Doug Tratner, 3 News.